Howdy, neighbor. Another, <laughs> another brother I want to put out there. Gorilla with a calls brother, 100%, is uh, Eric Wojo, right? Our resident vegan expert. You know, he, uh, he trained for it. He got in shape for it. Uh, he's lean and mean. Um, Ninja Warrior course dominating machine. And he will be on NBC next month, that's May, running the uh, American Ninja Warrior course. He's already done the preliminary shit. He's going to be on there competing. And he's going to be wearing a Gorilla with a Calls shirt. So definitely, definitely tune in and give a brother some uh, encouragement. You know, cheer him on a little bit, man. He's one of our own. He's one of our own. And if any one of you guys got anything like this going or you, you know, pull any stunt like this, let me know. Or go to our Facebook and post it up there on our timeline so that all of our brothers and sisters can support you as well because that's what we're here to do support each other and help each other right cheer each other on no matter what you're trying to do if you're just trying to lose 10 friggin pounds we're here to cheer you on that's what it's about that's what it's about so eric wojo at the arnold they had a gorilla with a calls course i'm going to stick uh, insert some of the video here and uh, maybe some of his training video. You can go to his channel, his YouTube channel, Eric Wojo, and you can see some more about his training and what he's doing and ask him some questions. And hopefully he'll chime in here in the comments section if you want to ask anything. And uh, at the Arnold, he was one of only three people all weekend long at the expo that successfully negotiated the... Uh, the Ninja Warrior course that they had there, which was a fairly elaborate course, and he's one of only three guys, or three contestants, three people, the whole weekend to make it through that course, and he blew through it like no problem. Only little stumble that he had was when one of his shoes came off, because he really hadn't shown up planning to do the course. I don't even know if he knew it was there. He, you know, came to represent at the booth, and when he saw the course was there, just on the, uh, you know, spur of the moment, he said, well, hell, might as well go over there and run this course and see what happens. So he went over there and, of course, smoked it. And he had, like, some kind of slip-on shoes on. He didn't have, you know, anything that he could really um, strap up. And he was running to snag that wall, you know, that curved wall where you run up and grab your fingertips. And he ran to grab that curved wall, and one of his shoes came off. But uh, he ran and grabbed it again and pulled himself up, no problem. And then he continued on and made it through. But, you know, one thing, Eric showed me his hands how he's been training for this thing and he, he showed me his hands his calluses to uh andrew castor and myself and we about fucking fell over We're like my god man it's a wonder they don't put you in an institution if they see your hands looking like that wondering what the hell you've been doing to yourself because i mean his hands were his hands look like he held them against a belt center i mean the whole hand not like calluses all over here like we have you know and even here i have them you know, and even in here, I have them. You know, not like that. I mean, he had fucking chunks of like here blistered and just ripped completely off. You want to talk about a man that's going to snag some stockings Whew, all day long, all day long. Anyway, uh, make sure another brother there cheer him on, root for Eric Wojo when he runs the Ninja Warrior course, flying his gorilla with a call's colors. And uh, maybe drop by over on his channel and say, Hey, Eric, good for you, bro. Good on you and good luck. Um, and like I said, I'm sure he'll chime in here. So that's that. Uh, I think that's friggin' awesome. I think it's awesome. And this should be encouraging, man. You know, whatever it is that you want to do, or you got some kind of wild hair, or some itch you need to scratch, you still got some stuff in the basement, whether you're a young guy, older guy, young gal, older gal whatever condition you're in, if there's something you want to do, you know, get your shit together and do it. Just go for it. You know, just like Tommy, man, you know, climbing up that friggin' mountain and shit. You know, just, just shoot for the moon, man. Small steps to the moon, but you can still get to the moon. You know what I mean? Believe in yourself, man, and we believe in each other. Power of positivity, all of us together. Yeah, go for it. All right. By the way, this is a pitchfork I'll have you know oh yeah if you listen close 
you might be able to hear coming across the breeze of the mountain in the back behind me. You may hear my neighbor way up yonder there. He's an ex-Vietnam vet. Got him a little jug band going and uh, I'm having a couple cups of joe so that I can pick up my old guitar and uh, or dobro and go on up and maybe we might have to tap us out one or two tonight. All right, y'all take care. Maybe I'll even video it. Have a good night.